Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Revolution. This is episode 8 of our new Let's Play. If you haven't seen episode 1 or the rest of the series, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner to episode 1. Highly suggest looking at that. I feel like I do a pretty good job of kind of making it a playthrough with a tutorial, at least in episode 1, kind of showing off how I would go about starting a campaign. As you can see here though, winter is coming and it is quite chilly and I'm trying to figure out what I was planning on doing over here because of course the the orders kind of go away when you load in and out of a game or if you go into a battle. Um, so cool, the free artisans. I, I would like to know what the running total is of the free artisans donations to this cause. So now it's no longer 2200 gold doubloons or pounds or shillings, it's now 2200 continentals because we started printing that. Um, this is interesting. Uh, James Newsom, officer of Choi in Leicester, has been killed. Oh no! Why is it called Choi? Aren't they just militia regiment? I did up the bounty so that more people are willing to be recruited. Not by a lot, just made it 8% instead of 0. And then I, I do have our weekly Sally at salary not sally weekly salary at eight percent as opposed to i think the default is negative eight percent so going into winter that should help out a lot we do have an officer problem but we're not actually facing any major threats right now so that officer problem isn't a big deal except for over here where this guy died um oh man james newsom was a pretty good commander too so that's that's really unfortunate. We'll put somebody like Trevor Noel, who's been with us for a while, in command. I still have Henry Knox down there, so that's a that's an interesting one. I should go and look through all of my officers. Our battered fleet finally made it back to New Haven. I don't even want to look at our ships at the moment. They are uh, they're really beat up. Uh, if you remember from last episode, I did actually destroy a 68 gun ship outside of Boston, but it was it was bloody. And for those of you that are wondering why didn't I capture it, I just couldn't. I I'm not I'm not very good at the naval part of this game. I'm I'm asking on Discord for advice. I'm testing things out, but there's there's a lot in my gameplay that uh, could definitely be a lot better when it comes to the naval part. I feel like I'm pretty good at at the ground game. Uh, yeah, we are really low on officers at the moment, so. Um, we're just going to have to wait. I don't really want to spend, spend any reputation on this plus 20 low, low rank officers at the moment because we're not actively actively attacking anybody and it's winter, so it's really not a good idea to go on the offensive. If you look at what's going on, I have our borders fairly secure. Hubbardton can really only fit one regiment, so I just have 550 men there. Ticonderoga has two regiments and a supply wagon. Fort Frederick has two regiments. They need more officers, so that's always a always a thing. We have 16 factories. We're trying to pump out United States muskets. We still have civilian muskets that are um, we're we're pumping out a few. I could probably do I really need this many? Sometimes yes. Uh, it's always nice to have a reserve of civilian muskets. One because your artillery. Red, uh, artillery, what they're not regiments. Artillery companies need them. Uh, that that's what the artillery companies are equipped with. And then everything else, so our money went down this time. Okay. No, no, no. It's going up. Oh, we have a bunch of ships actually making it to Newport. Holy cow! You can you can see like ammunition, guns, the the amount of money. Um, New Haven also has a bunch of ships. So. If we can continue controlling this sector, go out here, um, we'll probably have to do a lot more auto-resolves. I have a plan to, in Navy Innovation, to get down to the, what is it, the, I think it's the USS Frigate. Um, it's a Diana-class frigate, it's a 40-gun ship. Oh, the Hermione-class, that's a fifth rate. Well, they're both fifth rates. Less men, but 46 guns. We'll probably skip the Porcupine. Unity class, 44 with a couple more men. I'll have to, you know, really, really look into these. But if we can get uh, basically a fifth rate, 
12 pound guns. I might need to unlock 9 pound guns. I'm not really sure. Um, if anybody knows, you know, how, how it works when loading, loading fifth rates, can I, can I go all 12 guns or do I need nine, nine pounders? Do I need six pounders? That would be great. But I, I think grabbing the frigate, unlocking 12 pound guns, and then shifting production over, ooh, plus five textiles. That's, that's really tempting too. But then going down over here and trying to get these uh, fourth rate 1794s, which are really, really good ships. Um, also, the, the Constitution class, that's that's a really good ship. That's, I mean, it says it's a fourth rate. That's as close to a third rate as you're going to get. The, uh, the fourth rate 1794s, those are really cool. Um, as far as I understand with a Razi class, is you basically take like a third rate and cut it down and turn it into a fourth rate. So it's, it has like a lot of the superstructure of a third rate and the firepower of almost a third rate and then kind of cut, cut down or um, maybe it's not as tall, just like uh, modifications to it. But generally what a Razi ship means is once upon a time it was a bigger ship than it actually was. But there's probably not going to be a lot of combat going on. I might I might do some sort of attack of Fort St. John's in Burlington because I, I would like to take them. Fort St. John's is a two-star fort. Burlington is out of the supply chain for the British. We have them cut off, so it would be nice to take Burlington and Fort St. John's. If the British don't really secure Canada well, we could do something sneaky like take Montreal, run up here, and take Quebec, and then just kind of abandon it. We, we don't mind if the British take it back, but we would just get all of the really cool benefits. We have a year to do so. Um, there's no negatives for not taking those, uh, unlike Fort Ticonderoga. I believe Fort Ticonderoga is the only one that has any, any sort of negative. I, I always suggest with Fort Ticonderoga, hit it pretty hard. Probably what I'll do here is just do a bunch of fast forwarding. I just kind of want to show you how I prepare for winter. You can see we don't have a lot of money at the moment, and then we are trying to pump out production. I could probably, in all honesty, start scaling back how many factories we're leasing, because that is a good chunk of money, and we could probably, you know, like, scale back ammunition. We would probably scale back civilian muskets and scale back um, United States muskets to something like that. And then that would mean we only need is it eight? We'd be thirteen at thirteen. I think that's actually probably a smart idea right here. So we'll probably do something like that. As far as cannons, we have the six pounders that we're slowly building up. I don't really need a lot more. Um, over here we could. That's interesting. The medium transports. Those are actually pretty big ships, but I, I doubt the hull is as strong as an actual forty-eight unrated merchantman. Also pretty cool. I, I've seen people say that they built these and sell them. Like a medium transport will sell for 18000 or something. So that's always a possibility there. As far as our supply, we've got good stock of ammunition. Um, where's our provisions? I think that's in the market over here. You can see what we have for guns. We have some brown vests left over. Civilian muskets. We're building up our U.S. muskets. The... Charla V66s, I'll probably put those on a guard company when I unlock that. And then cannons, you can see we've got all these six pounders. We could start selling those off. We don't have any four pounders, thankfully. Uh, three pounder galloper guns, I do like to keep those at hand for um, for militia companies. I only have four in storage. We'll, we'll soon have lots of six pounders. We even have a four pounder uh, available, so we have stuff. And then, of course... We have like two companies worth of these 8-inch land service mortars, which we got, I believe, from Fort Saratoga. And then goods, uh, we have tons of provisions. We've got a lot of ammunition. Textiles, we're doing pretty good on. I've been keeping 10 for my for my ships and then selling the excess. Furs are, they, they make so much money. We have two extra wagons. Uh, I'll probably keep them for the time being if, I'm, if I need them. Um, you know, we'll, we'll sell them off. And then rum, we're, we're getting more and more rum. Oh, and that's what I wanted to show you. I'm not going to do it, but 
let's say I wanted to fast track the loyalty in Boston and Salem. I You can actually click on the region, not the city, but the region. And this is a new feature in the game and I haven't shown it off yet. There's this plus button above Boston and you can give your officers assignments. And one of the assignments is the officer will inspire locals and increase loyalty. Now the problem is it's a thousand continentals per week and one rum per week. And preferably you use, uh, is it charisma? It's so like Henry Knox. So weekly change in loyalty would be plus 2.29, for a thousand gold per week and one rum per week. So if you're, if you have tons of money, which is easily, easy to do if you, uh, play a lot better than I do, or actually figure out the naval game, you can make a, a boatload of money, no pun intended, but it, it's expensive, but there, there's things like that. Some of the other ones is you can, the officer can boost recruiting in the region, so increases available recruits plus 50%, that's 500 per week. Um, you can do officer will boost construction points, which that's actually a large amount of construction points, 500 per week. That's actually something that would be very beneficial in New York over here. Now I'm thinking about it because like Fort Saratoga, Albany, Bennington, um, Ticonderoga, Fort Frederick, they're, oh, Fort Frederick, zero. They're, you know, they, they have very, very little amounts of construction points, Fort Rice being another one. And I believe a lot of these, you can actually put fur traders in there. You can. And right now it would take 339 days to put a fur trader in there, which is excessive to say the least, but you could, you could have an officer in the region boosting up the region. Now I would, I would probably do it more in regions where there's multiple towns like over here, because you're getting more bang for your buck. So that would be two construction points in the region for both Fort Saratoga and Albany, whereas, oh, over here you'd hit Bennington and Fort Rice, whereas, like, say, Kingston, you're only hitting Kingston, uh, as opposed to other things, and there's not, there's not, like, a, you don't get a discount for hitting only one city, so those are just things I wanted to point out. Um, we'll probably, as I said, just do a lot of fast-forwarding from now on, and, uh, we'll kind of try to power through winter as, a lot of times winter is a little bit boring and it's just about surviving, so that is it. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so it's just about November 11th, 1775, and I do have an interesting situation occurring over here. There are, what is that, nearly 2,000 men coming down from Burlington. So I've started to shift a bunch of men around. I have... Noel going to Fort Rice, Weber going up to Fort Lavelle, Fort Lavelle all coming down to Hubbardton. And looks like I need to get Benedict Arnold out over here. That um, kind of looks like what I might need to do here. So let's grab the guys that are not beat up. Let's have you all leave and go around here. And I need to, I really need Benedict Arnold to go over here. Okay, and there's more men moving out, so let's see. Oh, oh, that's not good. Hopefully, hopefully they can make it to uh, Hubbardton in time. Um, I don't have any line of sight over here, so that is a big problem. Definitely a big problem. So we will have to see what's going on over here. Quicksilver can shadow these guys. And then we shall see what on earth the Redcoats are up to. Um, I do need you guys to probably form up a little bit better than what you guys are doing right now. Are they going straight for Fort Lavelle? Did, I, did they just fool me into leaving Fort Lavelle open? I'm not entirely sure. I, I really need some better line of sight. No, I don't really see the the red coats government efficiency reduced by 25 percent. that hurts the income government efficiency does directly lead to income okay so there's there's the red coats heading up over there very interesting path they took through the mountains so i think that uh that's fine we're going to reposition you over here you go here let's give you a perk 
and then let's have man what do i want to do with you i i really have to think about this let's just have you join the garrison down there and then probably this supply wagon i'm um not really sure where the supply wagon should go to be honest let's have the supply wagon go to fort fort saratoga let's have you guys go to fort lavelle these guys need to get out of hubbardton go back to fort lavelle um and then we could have you guys go to fort rice and bring a couple of you guys down to fort rice so i guess that was a false alarm but i i saw the movement i, I really need the third third general so i can keep somebody out over here um because it's actually really difficult to move move the general across this area here but definitely that was a pretty large movement by them so i need to pay attention to that during the winter but otherwise our fleet is nearly done and we'll send it out to sail soon you can see our economy is doing okay i need to start building up a few more things and um let's see we need the money we can definitely do that connecticut is an amazing place for missions like this it gives you so much money where it's like uh here here's a decrease in loyalty and you're like well that loyalty bounces back almost immediately something unlocked too so the intelligence agency and then what were we doing in intelligence we we're trying to go down to universities i started building a college or two here or there um but you can see this is where we are we have 55 reputation i, I could spend it on virginia 1776 muskets right now but I don't think that is appropriate at the moment. I kind of want to spend it on some naval innovation, possibly. The other one is, no, this is uh, not my favorite tree. So not not Quartermaster Chief. Could do like Artillery Chief. Could do um, this stuff down here too, which is always a good one. Because once we get US Guards, I would love to go down and grab Skirmishers. Dragoons would be wonderful, but we need a, a good chunk of horses, which if you look at our goods or resources, we only have 36 horses, which is absolutely terrible. I am building up some stables, so that number should go up a little bit more, but there's no point in grabbing grabbing dragoons when I can't even build horse or build horses. Yeah, we're just building Trojan horses. No, um, we, we, we can't breed the horses very well right now, so little bit of scare there but i was i just wanted to show you what was going on um that did waste a decent chunk of men as you know moving through winter causes a a crap ton of attrition so not exactly something i, I really want to be doing all the time um you do want to keep your garrisons kind of lean in the winter too and kind of check your provisions to make sure that uh, your guys aren't going to desert that that's also a very important part there you can see our officers are going back up, so there's no need to, to panic and build up those officers. Another interesting uh, turn events by the British. They are moving their forces down to Fort Lavelle. I do have three militia regiments there, but it's not, you know... Huh, I think there's some regulars in here. So let's try and get good old Benedict Arnold over here. See if we can uh, get, a, get a skirmish. Perfect. Them as reinforcements is exactly what I would like okay so we have we have a plan here i don't know if it's a good plan but we do have a plan and the plan is that we are moving our artillery forward out out of the fort because the fort just seems to not be a good location for the artillery unfortunately and everybody else is going to move up i, I... forts are one where Man, a, a deployment zone would go a really, really long way to making making fort defenses a lot better. Um, because you can see here the, the artillery that I have, it's just really confused and it's not positioning itself well at all. Okay, let's, let's grab you guys, pull you up, pull you up over here. I don't know what our skirmishers have for targets, but hopefully hopefully this is what we can do. I do have to bear in mind what might come on the flank, which right now is 
some skirmishers, and I don't really have a good answer to those skirmishers at the moment. And I, I don't want to be too thin, because if I'm too thin, then the redcoats will just bum rush with a charge. So that is something I also need to need to keep in mind. But I do also want my cannons more forward so they can actually do some damage. Now this unit up here doesn't seem like it's uh, doing very well. I don't think our cannons are in canister range, which is kind of a bummer if if they fire and there's not. Yeah, so that's, that's round shot. Well, that was canister. But this shift them up just slightly. Over here, that looks like it's going well. Over here, this is going pretty well. These guys should probably hold. And you probably need to move over here and try and hit them. Okay. Over here, they're doing okay, not great. Um, I am a little bit worried about the British charging here. That would be really bad. Um, our cannon might be a little too far forward over there. Over here, I think it's doing pretty well. There we go. There's a nice, nice route. Over here, I think, I think that's going well. Let's put you guys on hold now. Um, does hold? No, no, shoot. Stay, stay in the cover. I, I screwed up. I hit hold. That was, that was a mistake. Okay, no, 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 no. Please, please target appropriate. Ah, gosh. Now, now their cannons are like turned in a weird direction. Um, I feel like these two units can probably, hopefully, take on those skirmishers. These skirmishers, sk uh. When I say skirmishers, like the Minutemen, skirmishers are really good now. And I, I should have probably gone for them a little bit sooner. I, I, I probably actually should have gone for them over guards. Benny, you're needed over here. There, That artillery is about to flee. Okay, can you guys move up a little? So, Oh, they routed. Crap. No, why did you get- Whoa! What is- Okay, so- Oh, that's their reinforcements. Oh, we're in trouble. I thought that might have been all of them. That's not. So we're, yeah, we're in trouble. Uh, to quote the great Ralph Wiggum, um, I'm in danger. Yeah, that's not good. That's a lot of militia incoming. So, oh man, this, this fort battle, this might be a problem. This might be a real big problem problem. I don't know if we have the men to, to deal with this. So you all need a retreat. You all need a retreat. Can you get back on your guns? And then you guys over here, um, we probably need you guys to just get off the ramparts. You guys need to get off and then go up here. They're, they're doing okay, not great. Um, you guys probably need to get off of hold. And I, I need you to stop attempting to shoot the... What, what do you call them? <laughs> the the skirmishers with your, your cannons. And this is turning into a major, major problem over here. Nope, 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 nope. Didn't mean for you guys to retreat that far. Okay. Um, that's not good. Oh, Benny needs to be in so many places at once. They're exhausted, exhausted. We're starting to have exhaustion. Oh, and they're just like... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Why? That's a little bit weird to me. Okay, how's how's this going? You guys came back. Perfect. Um, can you guys hit that? And can you hit that? Your your tar target priority seems a little messed up at the moment. Thankfully, they're going wide. Um, I, I could... Oh, boy. I, I really want to charge into them, but I, I don't think that's a smart plan. I'd really like more musket fire taking them out. Um, I'd also like... You guys should not be blocked, and if you are, shift out. Ah, oh, there's, there's the grape shot. 
Okay, um, can you guys retreat and... There we go. Yeah, that grape shot, nasty. Okay, oh, and then they retreated. Here comes, here comes a bunch of charges by the, by the Brits, which is not good. Not good whatsoever. Hopefully we can repel them. Oh, oh man. Not looking good. We were, we were holding and then we weren't. That's, uh, that's my John Maddenism. <laughs> oh man. Uh... This is a little, little dicey over here. Okay, I think, I think we're actually kind of holding over there. You guys need to, need to push up. Um, you guys need to come back. Can you... Come on, come on, come back, come back, come back. Become friends. Those skirmishers are really holding off. Oh, man. Okay, that's not good. That's also not good. And then you guys need to turn this way. You guys need to continue. I'm, I'm fine with you turning that way to shoot, but the rest of you, not good. Oh man, okay. Yeah, this is, this is looking really, really dicey. Okay, that's kind of where, oh, they're getting hit by friendly fire. Okay, need you guys to move up now. Hit that. Our left flank is kind of holding. Our right flank is basically gone, so what we need to do now is secure our right flank. So let's, let's retreat into the fort. Um, you guys are... I don't know what you're doing. Over here, as I said, this artillery doing a, doing a great job. They're exhausted though. Okay, come on guys. Get, get out, get over here. Move out. Good old Benny over here. I'm pretty sure they still have skirmishers over here, and there they are. So that is not good whatsoever. Have you guys hit there? You guys hit over there. Come on, bring your artillery crew back. And then... Our, our artillery is spread very, very thin. Okay, these skirmishers, come on, come over here. They're exhausted and flanked. Oh man, they're going to take some serious morale damage. I, I need those skirmishers to come in to where I can actually shoot them with my cannons. That is that is kind of the plan. Can you guys go in the fort? Can you guys... Uh, the British are going to surround us, which is not, not great. Man, if our cannons can just... Just continue. Um, somebody shattered on their end, which is perfect. All right. I need this cannon to move. And I need this cannon to form up a little bit better. You guys go in the fort. You guys go in the fort. They're exhausted, which is completely understandable. You guys need to fall back. You guys need to... No, get on there. Okay, there's a, there's a charge incoming. And this is not going to be pretty. Good old Benny. Man, I really need these skirmishers to go away. So hopefully this, this cannon can take care of them. We are getting surrounded. We are routing. Uh, that is... Well, that, that was a good grape shot. Hopefully we can break them. Come on. Come on. Get... This cannon needs to get into position. They are really attempting to surround us. This is a pretty ridiculous battle. All said and done. Uh, really need you guys to continue. Okay, there's there's a route. Friendly fire, though. Alright, you guys shoot there. Hopefully you guys can hit the cannon over there. Um, need those guys to come back for what it's worth. You guys combine... And then, uh, you guys get on that battle, battlement, you guys get back in the fort. Is this not firing? No, uh, well, yeah, that is grape shot. Canister. Okay, move you guys up over here. Alright, now, probably this, uh, man, that, that unit just won't go away. 
If this if this uh skirmisher unit can disappear, we'll be we'll be in such better position, but right now we're we're not looking good at all. I mean we weren't looking good from the beginning, but that's that's a whole different thing. If I can get that are these are these British just moving up to be in combat? Is that what's going on here? Alright, this cannon. That that was very strange over there. Let's move this cannon down over here. Come on, that's can you guys move up and really help out as opposed to what you are doing? Really need those guys to break. Good old Benny. Can we hold? Alright, probably need my artillery in the fort. We'll take friendly fire from the, the hits, but that's fine. We're starting to get low on ammo. We should probably move our guys back to the fort. They're routed. Perfect. Uh, get these guys over here. Get these guys back in the fort. Benny, can you get in the fort? Because we are... We are... We are getting surrounded. Alright, can you guys just fire... Grape shot into them? Actually, can you... Can you form up, like, right there? You guys sit up there. Um, great, we got... We, we did cause a surrender. Oh man, are we going to pull this off? Because this is... This is pretty ridiculous, if you ask me. Can we... Can we pull this off? I don't know. I think... I think this unit needs to stay out here. Um, good old Benny, I'm not really sure what to do with you. Can we get... This is... this is crazy. Okay, they have at least two two companies down here. I would imagine there is a third. Are you in range to, to resupply your ammo yet? Not the... oh yeah, yeah, looks like he resupplied his ammo. Perfect. I actually don't know what to do with this artillery. I, I really don't want to be hitting my own men. They don't have enough men really to threaten me at the moment. So I think we're just going to pull it back out. I, I'm kind of like all over the place with my artillery. This is this is a lot of manpower loss too. Um, thankfully it's just... Well, we, we have the manpower. But thankfully it's not Fusiliers that we're losing... Uh, all these men too, although Fusiliers would have probably made this uh, a lot easier of a battle. But I think I think we're doing pretty well here. Um, obviously those cannons are a problem. We probably need to move some Fusiliers to the fort. I hate just... I, I do hate moving our Fusiliers during winter, but it, it might just have to happen. I think if we can move this artillery piece over here, that'll be great. They are exhausted, but the more we can break, the better. Man, this is a really lengthy battle. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I'm I'm kind of like at a loss here at the moment because there's a lot going on. I, I would really like to reinforce you guys. Okay, that looks good with the, the cannon there. Hopefully they can shatter that unit. Um, those guys are exhausted. Everybody's exhausted, and um, some of their routing units look like they've come back, so this is actually getting a little bit, little bit scary. Um, over here, though, I think we're doing well. That, yep, yeah, there's, that was a great shot. Great grape shot. Okay, somebody's been shattered, uh, over there. Perfect. Okay, this artillery is really struggling. The artillery movement up on fort battles really really rough I would like this unit to probably get out of here is that unit gone gone or are they this is this is pretty crazy I think this unit needs to go help these guys to be honest and then this artillery piece probably needs to move up over here and then go in the fort. You'll probably have to relieve those 62 men over there. Can you actually shoot those guys yet? Oh man, more guys coming back from routing. 
I might do a little bit of fast forwarding because I do understand that uh, this might be getting a little tedious at this point. Uh, there are men coming back. I think think they should take one hit and probably disappear. Uh, they did get a volley off, which is rather unfortunate. But I think if I think if you guys go there, you guys come out. And then, come on, get get another volley, or another canister. Perfect. Alright, they're permanently routed. Those guys are not permanently routed, unfortunately. That artillery, probably a major problem. Let's have you two combine. We're doing a lot of combining, but I, I think it's absolutely necessary. Um, another unit has shattered. I don't know. Oh, it was our... Ah, uh, man, that sucks. It was our was our Minutemen. So that is unfortunate. That's, um... That's not canister shot. There's somebody out there. We are... I mean, we're doing okay. Alright, fire at them, fire at them. They should be in canister range. This is... This is absolutely bloody. I, I hope you guys find this fort battle... I've never had a fort battle like this before. Um, pretty crazy. Come on, shoot them! Oh my gosh, what are you going to do? Let them just walk up on you? There we go. Point blank range. Booyah! Alright, can we move you guys up a little? I think that's, uh, this is the last regiment down here. No, 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 what are you... Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I feel like I didn't... I probably did. That's probably my mistake. Come on, British. There. I need the British. To no, what are you doing? What are you doing? That was absolutely asinine. All right, we'll just shoot them now because they're right in front of you. I don't know what this this artillery piece is doing. I, I need to move it out and then you guys come over here because there is still a regiment over here. Probably need to slow things back down just a tiny bit. Alright, uh, you guys get on that, that area there. And then we'll have you guys try and shatter them. Alright, there's another shatter. Perfect. Can we get you guys back in the port? I'm a little bit afraid. Uh, that was not what I wanted. I didn't want them to, to get a volley off. Benedict Arnold giving his morale bonus to everybody. Come on, we need a really good shot from you. What are you guys doing? I wish there was something that told me... Are they, are they doing, are they loading? I don't know if it's that, oh, I think it's that white bar. So that's interesting. Can you guys move into a better position? That is another question. And then can you guys kind of go out over there? I don't really care about this artillery out there. We don't have the means to take it on. We're just trying to crush all of their infantry. I believe once their infantry is gone, they should should go away. That is at least the hope. Let's put you guys into cover. Let's have you guys fire a nice shot out over there. Put you guys out up here. I can't believe we've held for this long. There's a routing. Uh, they're coming back. 27 dudes over there. This is really the big one. If we can get them to completely shatter. All right. 57 men. Perfect. And then another another volley. Can we get another big shot off? That would be perfect. Let's fast forward a little. Almost need like a timer for fort battles. You know, if the British haven't taken it by a certain point, um, like are they, do you think they're really going to continue trying to take it? I'm not entirely sure. 
All right, let's see. Over here, those guys should be should be out of it soon. All right, this artillery. Hopefully, it can conceal the deal. Would actually like you guys to hit them. Okay, somebody shattered. Three more infantry to shatter, I think. I don't care about... Okay, they're routed. That was a volley over here. Come on, fire. A nice... There we go. Route. 19 men over there. They're shattered. I mean, there is, there is nothing left of their army besides some artillery. So... Do I really have to go out and attack their artillery? Because I don't want to. I think that's kind of kind of stupid. Hopefully, their guys just commit a mass mass rout because there's it's literally just two artillery, and they probably don't have any ammunition at this point. That would be my assumption. Let's move you guys out over here. Okay, they're they're perma routing. I think all the infantry is perma routing, right? Okay, I'll probably cut this here. Uh, I'll try and clean up this artillery, but um, the, the rest of this is going to be pretty boring. Okay, I did manage to capture one of the artillery. The other one shattered and routed. Um, that was an absolute crazy battle. So we lost four guns, which was um, to be expected. We, we lost one of that one of those companies. They outnumbered us by eh, not quite 400, like 341, I guess. They, we technically had more guns, but I think they had bigger guns. They always do. And uh, I, that, that was a crazy battle. Let me know what you guys thought about that battle. I didn't think that the British would attack during winter. I apologize if that battle was a little too long. I've never had a fort battle um, really that, that I was defending before, and that was absolutely crazy. The level 1 forts are really hard to defend, and uh, man, there's like nothing left of our forces over here. This is so bad. Um, okay, I think, oh, can we, do you, do you think we can actually grab these guys? I'm not entirely sure. Benedict Arnold, let's see, I think, um, I think for him we'll do willpower. I think that's the... The good idea over here. So over here, um, I did have a sabotage event where one of my officers was killed again. They keep killing a bunch of my low-ranking officers, um, I, but I don't want to spend money on intelligence because I just I find the intelligence is pretty bad um, overall. But I probably need to move some men over to Fort Lavelle or something. That that was a that was a pretty nasty. Nasty attack. I, I probably actually need to move all of these guys is the plan over to Fort Lavelle. And then these guys we'll see if we can see if we can capture, get them to surrender, at least try and get all of this supply over here. Um are you guys I don't know what's going on. I I they're probably retreating, so we'll just capture the supplies. The supplies really need a, a longer range, that is that is for sure. And then I do have my ships. Where are my ships going? They are going over to Boston Harbor. Um and we'll capture see what see what these supplies are. We got absolutely decimated there. That was actually some good guns for once. Um twenty two hundred, the free artisans of Massachusetts. They have been just giving us money left and right, that is for sure. Um, let's move Flax over here. So, these guys, holy cow. They are, they are decimated. The, these guys are des- everybody's decimated. That is for sure. And then, good old Benny needs to go back over here. I think- Ooh, I don't know. I- I'm a- like, I don't really want to move my Fusiliers during winter. But, I might need to go see what is- I also want to see what's up over here, make sure there's not like another front, but there's there's some soldiers that I, I can see over at Burlington, 619, so that's 6, or not Burlington, Lyman, uh, 679, so I think that's, that's 
fine. We'll just, we'll keep Benny, good old Benedict Arnold over here. Oh, oh goodness. I don't know if we can win that battle. That's, that's rough. I would like a disengage. Man, the, I'm really struggling in the naval, on the naval side of things. Um, our ships are really beat up too, which doesn't help either. So let's, uh, let's see what good old Benedict Arnold can see. We need to grab these really, really beat up units and get these guys the heck out of Dodge. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. Crap. They really need a better better system here. All right, how's this going? Um, we're actually doing all right. We'll see how that how that goes over there. Twenty five hundred merchants of Massachusetts, not the um, not the Freemasons or free artisans or whoever it was before, but this time it's the the merchants of Massachusetts. Did we sink their fleet, or did they just retreat? I'm not sure. Um, I'm a little, little scared to be honest. But I would, I would love. Let's see, 172 guns. No, they're still out there. Okay, I w I would like to keep my fleet alive. So I'm I'm thinking that we we go into Boston. Boston has okay, okay shipyards. Not great. Um. Yeah, there they are down there. I'm glad we disengaged from that. We have 57 reputation, so we didn't take too many casualties. All right, so these guys are up here. Uh, they have skirmishers. That that was a that was a pretty crazy battle. That that was pretty crazy to be honest. So let's uh let's take a peek over here. What are we doing right now? If we take a look at our production, we have we have tons of money. Where did all that money come from? What did we all capture too? So some brown besses. We have more United States. I think we're at the point where we could probably upgrade or or create a regiment, another regiment of regulars. And that would make me feel better. Uh, I would like at least six regulars going into 1776. And that way I can deal with, you know, like the Canadian menace. Um that that was I really enjoyed that battle. That was a that was a pretty cool battle. Just a shame that the the forts are kind of yeah kind of naff when it comes to artillery placement, and you really need to be able to deploy. So over here, gosh, they, these ships are getting so beat up. How are we doing over here? Forty three, um, fourteen. I, I would love to pump out navy innovation. Our muskets are about to pop, which is nice because then after those we'll probably go down actually we'll probably do lumber mill so we can upgrade our dockyards that's probably what will happen but then after that we'll go down to um qualified engineers and then probably go down to the um, pennsylvania rifle get the dragoon carbine for you know whenever we have enough stables that we can actually build build out our infrastructure or build up uh, enough horses um, so 30%. We're doing okay over here. I would really like a carpenter shop because it has a dock. So that, that would be good. And then once we have enough loyalty, I'll change this printing press over probably to a recruiting house is probably what will happen there. How's Middleborough doing? Who is... Oh man, we're being attacked down here. Man, the British are really, really attacking during winter, which is pretty... Pretty interesting if I do say so. Um, so let's get Quicksilver down there. And then I, I wish... Uh, well, there's a little red dot. It's so tiny. But I really wish you could see the enemy armies moving in a lot earlier than than you currently do. I think with this force moving up, we should be fine. There's our muskets, our Virginia muskets. So let's go down to Lumber Mill, as I said. Um, what's a... is the trading post... Oh, we might need to go improve civil buildings before we go to qualified engineers. Um, but that is that is the plan. I don't think that the rifles are as important as getting those muskets there. I would also like to change some of my production because I think our production is doing pretty well at the moment. Let's go five and then let's go, what are we, nine, six pounders. Let's go like three of these. Yeah, 
three works. Let's just pump it to five just in case. Having one factory there is fine. Having three factories is there fine. So if, if we get more factories, um, that that gives us... Uh, they'll go directly into the Virginia 76s. All right, we really need to take a take a look at what is going on over here. I think we'll be fine. Um, just need Quicksilver to get up. Need Columbus to get in with them. And then need a skirmish to open up. All right. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm feeling really good about this battle. As usual, I pause right at the beginning and shift my troops out since there's no deployment zone. And you'll hear me talk about deployment zones until they are integrated into the game. Um, if you guys do want a deployment zone, I highly suggest going onto the Discord and um, continuing to mention it in the, the feedback threads or in the general feedback area. Um, I, I think it's I think it's very important. The devs do listen, which I find is absolutely incredible. There's not a lot of games in today's world where I feel like the devs are willing to actually listen. I don't know if this flank will make it in time. That is certainly something I'm a little bit worried about. Going to... I, I like to layer my defenses. You guys will always see that. Um, over here, I think that cannon just got there in time. Over here, I'm not liking that little flanking maneuver. They do have some skirmishers over there, too. Um, oh, Quicksilver, Quicksilver. You need to get into the line. Come on, move up. Uh, you know what? I don't really like how they've how they've formed up here. So that's. Let's do something. Let's try and refuse this blank just a little. Let's have you guys move up. Perfect. Okay. All right. I would like this cannon to be more like so, and we'll just start rolling this flank and then move up over here. So they're a little heavy on this flank and then in the center by the looks of it. If we can kind of do some sort of envelopment, that'll be perfect. This army is made uh, up exclusively of Fusiliers. So the British are going to have a lot harder time than they did at, say, Fort Lavelle. And we're forming a, a pretty good line. I'm liking how this is looking. Um, maybe not quite as it harsh as I initially planned, but do something more like that. And then you guys can be a little reserve. Come on. Let me drag. A little reserve group over here. Quicksilver. I think you're in a perfect position. Save skirmishers, skirmishers. I wonder if they have a third skirmishing group. I think the last one was yes, militia. I really like their militia models for the British. They're a lot cooler than the than the continental militia model. I really like how they look. Um, I actually, I, I've mentioned this before, I actually like how the graphics are in this game. I understand, you know, it's not for everybody, but I like, it feels a little, a little bit like a mobile game, just a little bit. And I, I really like the textures and the qualities. Uh, obviously, you know, it's not state-of-the-art graphics or anything, but I think it has its own unique charm to it, and um, I, I do, do really appreciate that. It's also, once the game is fully optimized, uh, stuff like this is really helpful for your graphics card. For me, not really a problem. Although, if you guys do recall in one of my videos when the enemy routed, uh, but I think it's there's an artillery bug. Sometimes when artillery routes, they get uh, a bug where they get like unlimited men and it kind of breaks the frame rate. I did have a little bit of a lag, which I have a super high-end uh, high computer. So me getting lag is just absolutely crazy. To put it in perspective, I can run Cyberpunk on the absolute extreme settings, and I think I can get something like 180 frames per second on my computer. So in, a, in an optimized game, I can run crazy high graphical settings. Let's pull you guys back. You guys are taking a few too many casualties for my liking. That's why I like layered defenses, because you can... You can always like pull pull men back 
Um, but this seems pretty, pretty easy to be honest right now. Alright, let's have you guys go back. Uh, I would like you to not fall back that far. Um, that, that's always a, a fun part of falling back is you're like, no, not, not that far, please. Um, I'm going to speed this up just a little because the British, they don't really stand a chance, but I don't really want to move out to attack their artillery because that's when we will get into canister range and I don't want that, so. We're just continuing to break their men. Uh, previously, so when the British would, you know, like, get pushed back in route, they would super blob. Now, I'm not saying they don't blob anymore, but this looks a lot better. This looks more like a line than what they used to do. They used to really blob up and it was really, really bad. Um, and now I think they do a pretty good job uh, of not blobbing up as much. Okay, I would like you guys to refuse the flank once more. And actually pull back to... and then go like that. And then you two can go behind. I think that's a really good tactic in this game is just uh, have your have your men quickly fall back and reform a better line. I, I really like doing that in, in games like this. I think it's really really beneficial. You want line integrity and I, I think that's super important. So let's speed this up again. Let's actually move out a little bit more. See if we can get more. They're, they're currently being fairly successful on getting one-on-ones. And that's not something that we want. So let's push up over here like so. And then let's push you guys up a little bit. And no, 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 no. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Shoot. I really screwed up the movement that time. Okay. And let's just try... Ah, oh, man. Uh, somebody was wounded, which is unfortunate. It's probably over here or here. But if we can... If we can gang up on their men, then that gives us the best the best advantage. You never want to go one on one where you can. So you do want to try and push your push your men up. I would like to move that piece of artillery up, but um, it's currently a little somebody surrendered. Grab him, grab him, grab him. No 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 no, they're gonna get them back. Grab him. As soon as you see the, the enemy surrender, you always want to find them and immediately bring them back to your line. That unit is getting a little beat up. Alright, I think I can move this line up just a tad. Move this artillery up just a tad. Somebody surrendered. Grab him, grab him. For a second I thought they were charging my line and I was like, oh yeah, that's the guys that just surrendered. We are still playing on fast forward mode, but that's fine. I feel like I am decent enough to where I can do that. So over here we have we have a really nice like four on one situation, and there's the route. And I would like to go grab their artillery because that is how you cause them to to surrender. Is you you capture capture soldiers. So let's have you guys stop. Stop all of that shenanigans. And I think they only have two artillery, which is perfect. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Charge. 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 And then... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, melee. Melee works. Routing. I mean, making their artillery shatter too, that'll that'll help. Okay, they, they all surrendered. I'm not grabbing the rest. Uh, That's going to be impossible, so... I always, I always suggest that, um, uh, per, per Panda Crow on the Discord, there is a mechanic, the more men you, you capture on the battlefield of the enemy, the more likely that their regiments are to surrender on the tactical map. So, not a bad battle, we only lost 346, I was afraid we are going to lose a lot more than that, um, and then best units, uh, I always like to look at that, are three cannons. That makes a lot of sense. They're six pounder cannons. Their best unit was their skirmishers, and their skirmishers are just really, really good now. And once once I get my guards, we'll be going for skirmishers in the chief of staff line. All right, battle's over. Let's run these guys up here. See if we can get any captures. All right, we got Thorpe to surrender. 
So that's something. I'm actually, I need um, one of these units, you guys, to go back to Salem, um, because I remember now that Salem actually has some issues. All right, see if we can, can we uh, just send one guy up to help capture equipment with Quicksilver? And then there's that seven gun. Oh great, there's one ship over there. Man, I would I would love to get my my fleet out and rolling. I feel like I'm going to have to wait for 40 gun ships, which is really, really unfortunate. Um I do before before this day ends, I want to unlock the US guards. So that's let's do that. That's fast track. So 62 minus 40 is 22 leftover reputation. That's my math. Let's see what American Revolution math is like. 26 makes total sense. That's new math. Or is it old math because it's American Revolution? I'm assuming there's something to do with like how good the the officer is. Um, so it's not... You get some sort of bonus. That would be my assumption. Um, but there we go. Guards. I'd love to see that. I do want General Baron Von Steuben. 100... 38? Ugh. That's gross. But I do need that third general. I would really like a third general. So we'll, we'll grab Baron Von Steuben. Uh, 138 days is pretty rough, but hopefully we'll, we'll do some more grinding over there. 12. We have the Virginia muskets going. Um, we have some materials. We've got a good chunk of money. I don't know where all this money came from, to be honest. And then uh, what we'll do, so my plan is these, I don't think the red shirts can get guards. And yeah, I, I just confirmed it, the, the red shirts or brown shirts, whatever you want to call these guys. For whatever reason, they can't get guards or grenadiers and whatnot. So they'll just be a fusilier a regiment, which is perfectly fine. I like to have a lot of fusiliers in my, in my line. So the blue shirts, they will get guards. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any officers at the moment. Uh, we do have a lot of colleges about, and then I do have some more to build up. Or is Lester done with its college? It is. That's amazing. Um, so we'll build up more more colleges where we can um, in the places that don't have things going on at the moment. Like Hatfield can have can build a college, and then we're 0.3 off from building another college, which is fine. Over here, I'm really peeved that there's one ship down here. That's really, really annoying. Um, I don't know what kind of ship it is. I would like to get away from this 7 fleet. Anyways, that is it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. There was a lot of nothing at the beginning as we, as it was winter, but then the British made it interesting by attacking Fort Lavelle and attacking Portsmouth. Really cool to see the British go a little bit on the offensive because they've been a little bit um, passive for the, for quite a while. And uh, the Canadians seem to be very pissed off, or at least the Loyalists. I know this isn't Canada, but the, the militia, I'm pretty sure, come from Canada all the way down. So I'm pretty sure those are Canadian militia coming down uh, along with the rest of... What is this area? This is, this is New England, right? I am so bad at my East Coast geography. Um, I, I really don't know. I, I wish here, like, it told you a little bit more about how the borders are so i'm pretty sure like this is new england and then goes down to to boston and then what do you have like rhode island area connecticut and then new york and um then you get canada over here what is this french french um french canada i believe so uh, as i said my my northeastern geography is absolutely terrible because it's a bunch of tiny itty bitty states and then canada and uh i'm as i said before i'm I'm a mid midwestern boy i'm from colorado i live i don't live in the mountains but i, I am like five feet away from the mountains you, you look outside my back door and there's the mountains right there so that is that please like comment subscribe all of that youtube jazz absolutely love reading your guys comments the likes really help get my videos out there. I really appreciate all the likes and the comments. It, it really helps that um, crazy YouTube algorithm. I know I mention it at the very end of every video. So we will see you in the next one. As always, guys, until next time.